My name is Larry Jordan and welcome to the Digital Production Buzz. Our goal is to talk about everything related to digital video from production to editing to output because what you don't know can cost you a lot of time and in many cases a lot of money. Today I want to talk about high definition video specifically picking the right format. If you've looked at all in a, in a consumer electronics store, it seems like you're just a wash in alphabet soup. We've got HDV and AVC Intra and AVC HD and XD Cam and DVC Pro HD and P2 and all these. What do all the letters mean? Well, really it comes down to your answer to four questions. The first question is, who's going to watch the video? If you're principally shooting home movies, then you've got lots of choices and most of them are inexpensive and, and many different cameras will work. But if you're doing professional work, then that's going to limit the number of format choices you can have. The second question is, how big a screen are you going to project this on? If you're going to be posting to the web where the images are small, you've got lots of flexibility. But if you're sending this out to television sets, DVDs, for instance, or a large screen projection, whether for corporate or professional screening, now you've got to watch your format to make sure it can survive being blown up to images that are that big. The third question is, how much money do you want to spend? Clearly, none of us want to spend any more than we have to, but cameras can be as little as six or seven hundred dollars to as much as a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars. And it truly is a case where you're getting what you pay for. So you need to ask yourself, how much can I afford to spend? How important is it for me to have high quality images? And the last question is, how many effects or how much color correction are you planning on putting on your video? The more effects you add, some formats don't handle effects work as well as other formats do. If your principal goal is home movies or school projects or just playing with video, HDV is a great format. The cameras are inexpensive, the format itself has got some nice big images with, with reasonably good quality, but HDV and a new version that's out called AVC HD has got problems as we start to add more and more effects or blow it up to a larger screen or especially send it over for professional use. There, HDV and AVC HD are not the appropriate choice if you're working on professional grade projects. In the premium portion of this podcast, I'll show you more of the formats that we have available and help you to pick between them and find the format that's right for you. In addition, we'll talk about the differences between a 1080 image and a 720 image because although the images are different size, there's advantages to using both and you need to understand what they are. And we'll also talk about what the term progressive and interlaced images mean. Again, they have an impact on the quality of the projects you're creating. For home movies, HDV, it's a wonderful format. For professional work, you need to check out the premium podcast. You can also learn more by visiting our website. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching the Digital Production Buzz.